If you're using Chrome on your Mac, you might be slowing down your system without even realizing it. And here's the thing, Safari in Mac OS Tahoe isn't just faster or more private. It's built to make your everyday workflow calmer and more productive. It's the quiet upgrade that helps you stay organized, focused, and even save battery while you multitask. Apple says Safari in Tahoe can load pages up to 50% faster and give you an extra hour of battery life compared to Chrome. And that's just the start. In this video, I'll show you six powerful reasons to finally switch to Safari, how to move all your data from Chrome without losing a thing, and a few hidden tips to turn Safari into your most productive workspace yet. By the end of this video, you'll have a browser that's faster, calmer, and designed to actually support the way you work. Stick around till the end because the hidden productivity hacks will surprise you. If you're new here, this is Soft Switch, where we make Apple aesthetic simple and stress-free. Hi! <laughs> and if you've just started setting up your Mac, grab your free day one MacBook checklist linked below. It'll help you get organized, personalize, your setup and start fresh with confidence. Let's dive into the six reasons Safari now beats Chrome on every Mac, especially after the Mac OS Tahoe update. First, performance. Safari is deeply integrated with Mac OS and built on Apple's Metal Graphics Engine, which means it feels instantly smoother when scrolling or switching tabs. Chrome runs each tab separately, which improves stability but drains memory. Second, battery life and efficiency. Safari is built specifically for Apple Silicon, which means it uses your Mac's power far more intelligently than Chrome. It automatically pauses background activity, manages energy use across tabs, and keeps performance high without draining your battery. Most MacBook users get more than an hour of extra use compared to Chrome, and you'll notice the difference quieter Mac throughout your day. But the benefits go beyond just battery life because Safari runs natively and efficiently. It puts less stress on your hardware over time. Your Mac stays healthier, runs longer, and even consumes less energy overall. Third, privacy. Google's business is advertising Apple's experience, and that difference shows. Safari's intelligent tracking prevention and private relay hide your data from trackers before they even load. It's like browsing through your favorite boutique with sunglasses on, calm, private, unseen. Fourth, ecosystem continuity. Safari is the one browser that feels native across all your Apple devices. You can start an article on your iPhone continue it on your Mac, and pick up where you left off on your iPad automatically. The fifth reason Safari now beats Chrome on every Mac especially after the Mac OS Tahoe update, is extensions and customization. Safari now supports the same modern web extensions as Chrome, but with lighter, safer performance. Tools like Grammarly, Notion, and 1Password run seamlessly across all your Apple devices. This is where Safari really changes how you browse across devices. Everything feels integrated, not patched together. Six, passwords and pass keys. With macOS Tahoe, Safari connects directly to Apple passwords, so you can log in with Face ID or Touch ID and create pass keys that never leave your device. It's simpler, faster, and finally secure without the hassle. And if you want to learn how to set up Apple Passwords app step-by-step step, and really take control of your logins, check out my video called Master the All-New Apple Passwords app after this one. So yes, faster, safer, and more in tune with your workflow. And the best part is how easy it is to switch and you won't lose a single thing. Let's go step-by-step. Step. 
If you prefer, you can manually export your passwords and bookmarks from Chrome and import them into Safari. It works perfectly fine and gives you control over what you move, but there's actually an even better and easier way to do it. And it also brings over your most recent browsing history automatically. Safari includes a built-in transfer tool that handles everything for you. Simply open Safari, go to the top menu bar, and select File, then Import from Browser, and choose Google Chrome. Select Passwords, Bookmarks, and History, and click Import. Safari securely transfers all your information directly from your Chrome profile. No files, no downloads, no risk. Within seconds, your saved passwords, bookmarks, and even your recent Chrome tabs appear inside Safari, already synced with iCloud. It's the fastest and safest way to make the switch. Once you've done it, you can start browsing right away with all your familiar sites already there, just in a cleaner, faster, and more private environment. Now that you're officially using Safari, let's take a quick guided tour through it, because once you see how it works, you'll realize it's not just a browser. It's a workspace designed to help you stay calm, focused, and organized. You can open a new tab with Command plus T or use Shift Command plus T to reopen one you recently closed. With Option Command plus N, you can open a new window. And with Shift Command plus N, you can open a new private window. If you always keep in sight like YouTube, Gmail, or Notion open, right click and pin those tabs. Tabs. They shrink into neat icons on the left and reopen automatically every time you launch Safari, like your essentials waiting before your day begins. Tab groups act like digital workspaces. Create one for work, one for study, another for inspiration. Click the sidebar, choose new tab group, give it a name and emoji. You can use control plus command plus space bar to open the emoji keyboard and fill the tab groups with your favorite sites. Switching groups feels like changing desks, depending on your mood or project. If you collaborate with others, try shared tab groups. Create one called Research or Design and invite teammates through iCloud. Any page you add appears instantly for everyone. Teamwork made simple. Because it's Apple, everything syncs. Your tab groups, reading lists, and bookmarks appear instantly across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. When you come across something you want to save, click share and select add to reading list. It's your personal read later shelf, even available offline, perfect for articles or recipes you want to revisit. The start page is another hidden gem. You can customize it to show favorites, your reading list, or your privacy report. You can even set a background photo that matches your desktop aesthetic. It's your little digital studio, minimalist, soft, and yours. When saving links, the favorites bar keeps everything at your fingertips. Drag a page into it or press command and D to bookmark. Organize folders for work, shopping, or inspiration. It's simple and intuitive. You can also customize your Safari toolbar to make everything easier and more personal. Just right-click anywhere on the toolbar and choose Customize Toolbar. From there, you'll see a collection of buttons and tools you can drag in or out depending on what you use most. Safari also makes YouTube playback smoother and battery-friendly. Videos load faster, fans stay quiet, and playback continues even when you switch tabs. When you're watching YouTube, right-click twice and choose Enter picture-in-picture. Picture. Your video floats in a small window over your screen while you work or take notes. Perfect for multitasking. And finally, there's the privacy report. Click the small shield icon to see how many trackers Safari has blocked. It's a quiet reminder that your data stays yours. Now that you're familiar with Safari, let's unlock a few more powerful tools that can make your workflow even more organized and focused. Safari's 
Profiles feature in macOS Tahoe is a true game changer for multitaskers. Now you can create a work profile and a personal profile, each with its own history, cookies, and extensions. When you're in work mode, you won't see personal distractions, and when you're relaxing, work stays hidden. To create one, open Safari on your Mac and go to the top menu bar. Click Safari, then Settings, and choose Profiles from the sidebar. You'll see a simple window with an option to add a new profile. Click the plus button, give your profile a name, and choose a color and icon that represent it. The color you pick will tint Safari's window slightly, so you can always tell which profile you're using at a glance. Safari will also create a dedicated bookmarks folder for that profile, so your links and favorites stay separate. When you're finished, click done and your new profile is ready to use. You can switch between profiles anytime from the file menu by selecting new window and choosing the profile profile you want. You can also switch right from Safari's start page or sidebar. It happens instantly, like changing desks between your work setup and your home setup. Profiles can fit into your workflow in simple but powerful ways. In your work profile, you might have your email, project tools, and calendar in pin tabs with extensions like Grammarly or Notion installed to help you stay productive. It's a quiet, focused workspace with every everything you need to get things done. Then when you're ready to unwind, switch to your personal profile. There you can keep your favorite YouTube channels, shopping sites, and creative inspiration tabs without them mixing into your workday. It's the digital version of closing your laptop for the weekend. You can even create special profiles for short-term projects. This is one of those small but life-changing that makes Safari feel personal and purposeful. Safari in macOS Tahoe now has a feature called Hide Distractions, and it's one of those small updates that makes a huge difference in how you work. When Safari detects a busy layout with sidebars, banners, or pop-ups, a small focus icon appears in the address bar. Click it and you can choose exactly what you want to hide. You might remove the sidebar, block extra ads, or clear away background clutter, keeping only the main content visible. High Distractions is perfect when you're studying, reading a long article, or even following a recipe. It clears away clutter and visual noise so you can focus fully on what you're doing without anything competing for your attention. And when you're ready to go back, just click the icon again and your normal view returns instantly. Whenever you find something inspiring, highlight the text and choose Add to Quick Note. Safari saves the quote, link, and preview straight into your notes app. It's like keeping a digital scrapbook of ideas. And when a web page feels cluttered, click Reader View by going to View and choose Reader View. It strips away ads and side sidebars, leaving you with clean, calm text ideal for deep reading or study. You can also open the Privacy Report dashboard to see which sites track you and clear unwanted data. A small but powerful shortcut, press command, and a number key to jump instantly between your first nine tabs. It saves time. All these little touches make Safari feel effortless. It's fast, quiet, and beautifully organized, the kind of tool that disappears into your day and simply works. Now that you've imported your data, learned your way around, customized your setup, and mastered your multitasking, you're officially done. If you're just starting your Mac journey, my beginner's guide playlist is your perfect next step. It's a gentle hands-on series that walks you through every essential Mac setting, step by step. And if you're completely new to Mac, don't forget to download your free day one MacBook checklist. It's my quick start guide to help you organize, secure, and beautify your Mac from the moment you unbox it. If this video helped you simplify your setup, give it a like and subscribe for more Mac tips made simple. This is Soft Switch, where we make Apple aesthetic simple and stress-free. See you in the next one.